Taylor, move, please. Accurate if I flip them. Daddy, am I on my brake? Yes. Yes. What? So Cody is putting in my gate. And what was your question? Do you want me to continue them all the way across the same direction or do you want me to flip it? Why would you flip it? I think it would look good going all one direction. I was thinking about putting a board straight in the middle and go the other direction there. I don't know, dear. I do know that I love these fans that now work. Yeah, he comes in and he says, hey, I'm doing the gate. You know, you could be filming this. And I'm like, I just got off work. Leave me alone. Here comes my job, right? So is Taylor your little builder today? Yes. No, Robert. Hey, are you ready for dance class? You got your shoes on too? No. Why not? You need to have your shoes on whether you're helping dad or not. I want my job. I don't want you doing my job, mom. I'm not doing your job. I'm sitting here filming. By the way, your daddy needs to clean off that hot tub. Oh, yeah. It's a mess. Your hair is getting so long. Okay, what was that all about? So, you ordered the rest of my blinds for the porch? Yep. Or just like a couple? I ordered the rest, all three. One, two, three. So he hung that up and put my wind chimes next to it. And then he hung that one over there up. And now he's waiting on two more to come in. And then our porch is pretty much done. Okay. Where'd my hammer go? I don't know. I've been sitting here. You okay? I can stop filming if you need help. say that you're just doing it to show me what it looks like but we both know that's a lie because after all that work you're not going to want to turn around and do it the other way Robert, back up. baba you cannot go out that way anymore you're going to need to go off the porch on the other side all right so after about 
10 minutes of him trying to get one board to go the opposite direction, he just decides, I'm going to do them all one direction. And Taylor went in there and got a little worker's hat. And Robert just don't care. Okay, so I'm going to be outside today helping Cody finish this gate. And we got some shades in. We just went and bought the cheap ones. I want to go through Kaylee. And I am eventually going to go through Kaylee because I do. These have already kind of blown in the wind and kind of snapped. Because we had them. We have one that is up. Sorry. Weird camera angle. We have one that is up. And it had this right here, this little thing. And it's it's already, the wind blew too hard and it snapped. And like, it just was blowing in the wind and that's not gonna last very long. So eventually I am gonna get damn good shades through K. But for right now, he was like, let's do this real cheap real quick, real fast because the, tr the porch looks horrible. This is what my porch looks like right now. And y'all were with me in my last video where I had set all this up and like had it all nice and neat and there's this is my porch right now so the kids were playing in the hot tub the other day but we don't have it on so it's not hot so basically it's like a little kiddie pool but we are going to put shades up to where you don't see this anymore i am tired that is the only i live inside of my city limits and i live like right on top of my neighbors and i won't lie i'm not a big fan of it cody loves it here and i mean this house is great it's just we're a little too close to everybody and I'm tired of looking at that. I'm tired of walking out to sit on my porch, hang out with my friends and looking at all of that. So I'm putting up this gate for privacy. I'm putting up these shades for privacy. This is gonna have a lot of stuff to it. And this video, I think I said something yesterday about or the other day about starting out and showing y'all him starting it but today we are going to finish this I want it done I want to be able to hang out on my porch and not see all this so that's what we're gonna do today I'm gonna set up my stand I don't know how long we'll be able to film because my phone's probably gonna die between now and then but because I'm filming off my phone today I have a camera but it's not charged and to be honest I was supposed to go film gals and ghosts today and it's a good thing that we didn't because my camera's not charged. Sorry, Kay. Okay, so I normally try to avoid doing this, but this week has been crazy. And let me tell you why. So the beginning of this video, it was a porch, home life stuff. And I'm still gonna show you the porch finished, but in the past couple of weeks, okay, so I got a car six days ago but I wrecked it two days ago. And I didn't actually wreck it. A girl, not gonna give any names, but a girl and her passengers ran a red light and T-boned me, even though that they're not emitting fault and I can't prove it, my light was green. I was on the way to the hospital because Robbie had 103 fever. Turns out he had a, a mild case of pneumonia, but he is okay. So, I had gotten a car. It was a white 2019 Dodge Charger. Yes, I know. I only had it for four days. And it's now totaled out. And right now, I'm, I'll show you what I'm driving. But I'm driving a 2020 uh, Jeep Cherokee. This is a rental right now. I haven't gone and gotten, figured out what I'm going to do about a new car yet. We're still waiting for the insurance stuff to adjust itself out. And I did hire Cody Reese Law Firm. I am going to give a little shout out to him in this video. I, this is not sponsored by him, but he has been so kind and so great and so helpful. And even if we don't get anything out of this, I'm still going to go to him if ever, anything ever happens. Because he was fantastic. And uh, so thank you, Cody Reese. But anyway, I am going to make a video out of going shopping for a new car. I'm going to make Cody film it because I might be at work when he goes and I might not. I am okay. I, uh, my entire left side is bruised, but there were no broken bones. 
uh, I had a little, I have a bruise on my wrist. I don't know if y'all can see. Hold on. I don't know if y'all can see that very well, but my arm was bruised from where the airbag went off. And I am, I am very lucky that it didn't burn me when it went off. Uh, no windows smashed. No windows broke or shattered, whatever you want to call it. And I'm okay. So I'm going to finish what I started with the porch video, but I wanted to keep you updated. And I will put pictures of the car, my car. I'm not going to post pictures of the other car because they received some a good chunk of damage too. And I'm not upset with them, but I know I had the green light. It's okay though. I'm not angry. We both walked away. We are both okay. We get to go home to our families. And that's all that matters. So I'm going to show you all the porch and I'll show you the Jeep Cherokee. It's a 2020 Dodge Jeep Cherokee that I'm driving right now. And it's just a rental, but I will make a video or at least try to have Cody remember to film when he goes and looks at them. But at the very least, I'll show you the end car when I get it. But right now, I know I started this video like almost a week and a half ago, and normally it doesn't take me that long to finish one. I try to post weekly, but this video is a lapse of like two weeks, three weeks because of the car wreck. But I'm okay. And we're going to get me a new car. It's going to be fine. I will not drive another white vehicle because let me tell you, when I was 19, I got in a wreck, T-bone, in my mom's white car, and it was the other person's fault as well. And I won't drive white vehicles anymore. My husband's truck is white and I've actually, this one was my fault. I actually ran off into a ditch and it took me, took him three days to notice that his bumper was messed up. But I will not drive a white car anymore. Mm -mm. Okay, so I'm only gonna put two of them down because it is storming in Southeast Texas right now. And I don't want to ruin them. I did not get these from Kaylee. I actually got these at either Home Depot or Lowe's. I'm not really sure which one. I think Cody had to order a few of them. But I didn't go through Kaylee right now because hers are the really, really good. It's like expensive ones, but like they're good and worth it. So right now, because we just wanted something up quick, we went with this. But we both, we, we, me and, sorry. Me and Cody both know that these aren't gonna last forever, but we have one right here, one right here, one right here, and one right here. And then I have one up here that rolls down. And this is Cody's finished job of the gate, which I absolutely love. Yep. But that's, that's the gate. I'm happy with it and I love this offers a little bit of privacy and just a little bit of shade on a sunny day. I'm gonna roll these back up though because we are supposed to have a tropical depression blow through. And then the fans, of course, y'all have already seen that. The jacuzzi needs to be cleaned, but he's supposed to do that when it stops raining. Until then, right now, we just really don't care. And then we're gonna move on to closing this in and making it like a garage for the side side and then I'm going to make a pathway that is going to go to the gazebo that's eventually going to go behind the house but that's a ways way and then over on this side of the house I'm going to have another pathway once he gets these dang mowers out the way that goes all the way down the house and it's just decoration with like um with like plants and stuff like that but yeah, it's coming along. Uh, in this video, I think when I started, I showed y'all everything we wanted to do in the house too. But, oh, I almost forgot. I said I'd show y'all the Jeep Cherokee. Which again, this video is not sponsored by anybody, not even Dodge. But I'm gonna show y'all what I'm driving around. And I, I like it, but I like my Charger more. I'm a Charger girl. Okay, so this is the 2020 Jeep Cherokee. I like it it's roomy but again I just like my charger because it's fast and to be honest I survived a really bad car wreck in one so I'm not saying that that's why you should get it but I'm gonna get another one but that's just just mainly it's my dream car all right so here is the back there's plenty of room and these seats lay down 
So that's great. And then now oh, push. You have your spare tire. It's it's very roomy in the back of the Jeep Cherokee. Mm. And then these are the back seats, which my kids have already got toys in. They're not allowed to eat in here, and they're not allowed to eat in any new car I get either. But it's it's very roomy. I like it. Cody drove it around. He likes it too. But I'm going to get in with y'all and show y'all some of the features it has. Okay, so the push start has all the... Oh, that's a little... And this is your fuel. And this is your heating and cooling again. You have all of that over here too and you can change these settings i don't because well it's not my permanent car so i don't change it but uh it has this is park assistance which means that if you are backing up it does have a backup camera if you're backing up and you're gonna i'm not gonna do it in this car but if say i was to back up and I'm getting really close to like a person or an object, it would sense it and be for me to stop. And then uh, it has this auto, this button right here. So right now I'm stopped. So let's say I was stopped at a red light. The car, if it's on, hold on. It's supposed to shut off, nope. I still haven't figured out how to work this correctly. All right, let's try this again. All right, say I'm sitting at a red light and I put the car in. I'm sitting at a red light. The car cuts itself off and then cuts itself back. It's not doing it right now. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But it's supposed to Honestly, it could just be me. I could just not have it on right. But it's supposed to, when you're parked, it, while your foot's on the brake, it cuts the car off to save on gas. It only takes like a few seconds. So like you don't even really notice it. I noticed it because it was weird at first. And like she told me, the lady at the, de uh, at the Enterprise where I got it, she told me, but it was still a surprise to me when it happened. But uh... Here's your emergency brake. I mean, it has all the bells and whistles. It has the auxiliary cord. Good size center console with another one. So, it's a good car. And it's one that me and Cody have considered getting me for myself for like after all this is over. But I don't know. The charger that I was in. I believe the woman was doing like, I think they said 50, 55, and I was doing 35, 45. I haven't actually got up to the speed yet, and because uh, I was a distance from the light when I watched it turn green, so I sped forward to go faster, and she didn't stop, and she hit me. That's not the point. Uh, so this is a car that I've considered getting for myself, and me and Cody are looking into the options, but the charger that I was in, the airbags deployed on the pa the driver's side door, the steering wheel, and the passenger side, but not the passenger side door, because that's how they got. It might have. They might have had to get me out through the back. That could be what happened, but I do remember someone opening the passenger door, so I don't think the airbags went off in the passenger door, but I, I was disoriented, uh, but... My door caved in, the back door caved in, but like the frame bent, but it didn't pin me down. I, I couldn't get out because it knocked my neck and it hurt too bad to move. And my wrist hurt because at the, the airbag when it went off, knocked my wrist and I'm lucky it didn't burn me. I got lucky. I'm not gonna bull crap anybody. I got very lucky. And even Cody knows that. 
So we talked about the charger is my dream car, but there's so many safety features that we wanted to have like this car, uh, the mirrors right here, they have this triangle. So if something's in your blind spot, it lights up. And if you start to move over while that triangle is lit, it'll go ding, 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 ding at you and make you pay attention. So I like that. And he wants that in a charger. He thinks that's very safe. And my charger that I got didn't have any of that. It just had the park sensory and the backup camera. But now that we've drove this and we see all the other safety features it has, we want that on any other car we buy. We don't know what we're going to buy yet. We're still struggling with the decision because this is a good car. The Jeep Cherokee is very roomy, very mom friendly, and uh, even dad friendly, to be honest. This is a good car for traveling. I like it, but... The Dodge Chargers are one of two dream cars. And the, the same company makes both my dream cars. It's the Dodge Charger and, of course, the Dodge Challenger. So, but... And I'm right here, baby. I'm not going nowhere. Sorry, he was asleep in the house. He thought I left him. What's wrong, baby? I'm just showing them the car. Oh, you didn't lose me. I'm right here. I'm not leaving you. Here, get off the, get off the thing. Let Mama back in. Poor thing. You thought I left him. No, Mommy didn't leave you. Mom's just showing them the porch and the car. You, you watching your Lightning McQueen? Okay, well, you can stay out here. You can go back in there. But anyway, that's the car I'm driving. Don't know if it's the car I'm going to get. It just depends. But thanks for joining me with Home Life at 2.0. I will show y'all pictures of the totaled out car. I only had it for four days. I had planned to do a video showing y'all the new car. And then he got sick and was in the hospital while I was at work. And I had to leave work and go to the hospital and... Well, wrecked the car on the way to the hospital. So, thanks for joining me with Home Life for 2.0. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like and subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you know when I post another video. And even more now than ever, I'm lucky and I love every single one of y'all. I'm so glad that I get to be here and that the other party that was in the other vehicle is okay and they get to be here and I'm just glad that I get to make this video. So, I'm not, not all of you know this, but this video is ending. But my cousin Rhiannon, she died in a car crash a couple years ago. So, this kind of really hit home for me. So, I love every single one of you. And I'm so happy that I'm still here. I'll see you next time.